So in order for a website to be visible for everyone on the internet, someone needs to host it or publish it on the web and keep it there 24-7. Well, this can be done on your regular PC. There are many disadvantages to this, including that your PC needs to be on 24-7 and that as a beginner you need to take care of security and not to mention performance and the stability of your own server. That's why there are companies who will basically keep your site on the internet. They are called hosting companies and they will rent their computing power and their PCs known as servers where one individual or many of them can add their websites and publish them on the internet. In this particular video I'll be using SiteGround hosting. There are many many hosting companies out there but I'm very happy with SiteGround. I've been uh, their customer for over four years now and I've never had a single problem with them unlike with uh, other guys such as HostGator, Bluehost and others. One more reason to choose SiteGround is because they have very easy step-by-step -step process of setting up the WooCommerce store which we will be setting so they may not be the cheapest option out there but uh, at $3.95 per month it is quite affordable and it comes with lots of built-in features they will also add you SSL certificate and set up everything for you for that price which is very very good option for beginners so without further ado let's choose our first hosting plan with SiteGround and start building our website go to SiteGround.com and in the, the menu click hosting and choose web hosting so now we'll need to choose a plan a plan is basically a set of features price differently so they have startup grow big and go geek plan we'll be using the cheapest 3.95 dollars a month which is a startup plan it has a bunch of built-in features already also at any point you'll be able to migrate to a better hosting plan they will do it for you completely free if you face any problems during the setup just go to SiteGround live chat they are very responsive and the best customer service i ever experienced our first step is to create a domain name. A domain name is like a street address for your house. If your website is a house, your street address is basically your domain, which tells people how to find you, what they need to type in, in order to access your website. Choosing an adequate domain name can be a bit tricky, since there are uh, over millions of domains out there with different handles, different suffixes, and so on. So. It may take a few attempts to find an available domain and do not be discouraged because this is very normal these days. You'll need to have a few alternatives in your pocket. But always try to think of something memorable, something easy brandable because your domain name tells uh, what is your business about. It's important to mention is that domain registration is handled through SiteGround and they charge it at uh, $15.95. So this is a year charge, not a charge per month. And you'll need to pay this amount for a year in order to keep that domain name. So in the field here, choose register a new domain and uh, just type in your desired uh, website name. You can also try a different suffix, but I recommend that you stick with the old school .com, uh, .net, .biz, .co and so on. As you can see, I'm now trying to find a available domain name. I'm trying BitCommerce here and all sorts of combinations. I already have few ideas written up here and I'm now trying Vutoshi. Click proceed to always test your domain name availability. And let's see if Vutoshi is available. Yeah. Wutoshi.com is a combination of WooCommerce and Satoshi, so it's Wutoshi. And it's available here, you can see now the message, and it's available. So Wutoshi will be my name, uh, whatever you came up with will be yours. And now we'll need to create our SiteGround account, our hosting account. So, next step is to fill in account information such as email and password, your information, personal information, which is they call client information, also set up payment information. You can pay with credit card here, unfortunately SiteGround does not accept Bitcoin yet. If someone from SiteGround is watching this, SiteGround please accept Bitcoin, because if you don't you're missing out. Besides uh, setting up your personal information and payment information, you'll need to think of a data center. Data center is basically where the server is located and SiteGround has several locations around the world. If your main customer base is Europe, 
then choose European server. If you're in the US, choose US server. US server is just a little bit more expensive, but uh, as I said, it's worth giving that extra speed if the majority of your customers is in the US. Also, you can uh, now choose here the period. The period is basically the billing cycle. If you choose 12 months, you will pay 12 months of co-hosting for 395 and after that it will be 1195. If you choose 36, you will have 36 months of hosting at 395 and uh, later it will be 1195. I recommend that you go with 12 months. Uh, SiteGround has often promotions which you can choose. So basically they uh, have all sorts of promotions uh, during holidays. So you'll most likely be able to renew at a cheaper price. Enough chit chat, uh, let's fill out the personal information and uh, be sure to choose proper uh, data center and, uh, and billing cycle. And at the bottom you will have extra services which I do not recommend at this point. Uh, unless you want domain privacy is probably good but if you do not want to spend money just uh, side ground scanner is useless, just do not do that. Uh, once you fill out the information make sure to agree with their terms of service. You will see the total amount here and uh, and once you're done click uh, pay button here at the bottom. The next step is that you'll need to verify your purchase by uh, confirming your phone number. So enter your phone number and you'll receive a code via SMS which you need to enter. Enter your phone number and click next. You can of course verify all this later but you may forget it and they may suspend your account if you do not verify your phone so just do it right away. Uh, in a few seconds you'll receive a confirmation SMS on your phone with a confirmation code. So just enter the six digits code in this uh, field here. If you have not received it you can resend the code but you'll most likely receive it so just enter the six digit code you received. And when you do that, again, click next. As you see, the whole process of setting up the SiteGround account is extremely easy. And now our order has been uh, successfully submitted and we'll need to wait for a few minutes. Do not navigate from this page uh, until the process here says that you can. And that's basically it. We now purchased our hosting account for 12 months. We have our own domain name and Next thing we will need to do is to set up our own website. And this is now where the things are getting uh, very exciting. We will finally be able to start creating our own website. So we just purchase the hosting, set up an account and click on the proceed to the customer area once you see this button. In this step now, we will create our own website. Uh, click on the start a new website here, that's the first option. Choose the second icon which says WooCommerce. Ignore this other software drop down menu and basically enter your admin email, username, password and confirm your password. This is very important because with these credentials you will log in into your e-commerce store. So make sure to have a password which is secure and which you can easily remember. And of course the email address on which you can verify. So it has to be a valid address in case you forget your credentials so that you can just uh, reset them. When you enter your credentials, so just click confirm and that's basically it. Uh, so that's how easy it is to create WooCommerce and uh, WordPress all in one with SiteGround. So in this now step, SiteGround will ask us if we want to enchange our account. Oh, of course, this is their business. They're shilling us some sort of protections and all sorts of scans but we didn't we, we won't uh, use any of them at this point just click on this green confirm button and you will see that uh, we have now requested uh, installation of WooCommerce software which is an e-commerce software and just click on the complete setup you now need to wait for a few seconds and that's basically it our hosting account has been set up uh, what SiteGround will do now in the background, they will register domain for us, they will add an encrypted SSL certificate to our domain, uh, they will install WordPress for us and they will add WooCommerce on top of that, which is amazing, very easy and saves so much of time. I'll, that's basically it guys, I will see you in the next step where 
we'll need to verify a few things on our email address now and uh, we can begin customizing our website very soon.